Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Janelle aka Nelly. I have been trying to figure out how I would like to prefer to conceal my eyebrows, so don't mind them. But as you can see by today's time, we are reviewing the ColourPop. We are reviewing the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. I bought in the shade 190, Deep Dark 190 Warm, because I use actually the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in 180 neutral so this that's what I use to like highlight my eyebrows I can see it's kind of close to my skin tone but I went one shade deeper for the foundation so we're gonna see she looks kind of red um so <laughs> um I ordered the foundation on ulta.com I don't like it I can return it because the ColourPop website if you buy it from their website you can't return it because they're so affordable this foundation retails for $16 one ounce of foundation this is the packaging with the pump. I was surprised that it was $16 because usually there's they're usually kind of cheaper than that. I was interested in doing the ColourPop tinted moisturizer but then I asked you guys if you wanted me to do this and you said yes. Um so yeah like their first foundation the natural matte foundation is $12. The pretty fresh tinted moisturizer is $14 and the foundation stick is ten dollars so this is the most expensive foundation that they own it comes in 42 shades it is dermatologist tested oil free and vegan their description is the skin perfecting wait on <laughs> their description is this skin perfecting medium buildable coverage formula creates a healthy skin like finish get coverage and hydration with the same good for you ingredients like hyaluronic acid for your healthiest looking skin ever um I think it has coconut oil in it. I know this has hyaluronic acid and coconut water in it, so that sounds very hydrating. So we're gonna try that out today. Um, I'm gonna shake her up. She looks pretty red, I'm not gonna lie. Um, we're gonna see how that goes. She sounds very liquidy. Can you hear that? I'm using the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Acne Treatment, which I need because I don't know why. I just since I started working out like three uh, three weeks ago, and I'm always drinking water. So you would think my skin would stay clear, as usual. No, she has been breaking out, and I'm just like, well, why? Today she looks pretty good. <laughs> um, it's good because I got this yesterday. But yeah, right now, I don't think it's available in stores, the ColourPop foundation. I'm not 100% sure. If you're new to my channel, I like to do, when I do foundation reviews, I do one half of my face with a brush and the other half of the face with a sponge just to see what is like the coverage difference. Oh wow, that's... We're just going to start off with that amount and see how much that goes with a brush because that looks like a lot to me. That was very quick and easy to blend, which is very good for me. Um, because I like to do my makeup. Not, I don't want to take too much time on makeup. Let me see if I can take any excess. So just to mind you, that was not a whole puff, which is why I was like, I don't know. But as you can see with the brush, it looks really good. That also was a whole puff. So be careful, because a whole pump gives you a lot. So I think all together that makes one pump on my face. So I'm gonna blend her out with my Sonia Beauty Blend, my, my sponge. My sponge that I get from Target. Um, that's pretty good because I'm not left-handed I'm right-handed and it blended out pretty good this is a really good coverage for like summer I don't feel it on my face I really don't feel it on my face like if you told me I was wearing foundation I would be like I don't know I'm not <laughs> this is really good um I prefer either or either or looks really good so you can use a sponge or a brush it looks practically the same 
Now I am curious to see how her coverage is for this because I have a hyperpigmentation and my neck absorbs anything. Like it's nothing. So let's see if it actually covers my neck because usually I have to use um, color corrector, which is fine, but I just want to see how much coverage it does for my neck. So this is how much a whole pump gives you. And as you can see, it's a very ready consistency. Consistency. Um, I was concerned is whether or not this is definitely too much. <laughs> um, but it's a medium buildable coverage, and honestly, I wouldn't really build it anywhere because once you do a concealer and stuff, it looks fine. I mean, it's not bad. If you have like really bad hyperpigmentation, definitely use a color corrector. But it's not bad compared to like my other foundation, so that's not bad. That's pretty good. I like her so far. So now I'm, I'm gonna fast forward through the rest of my face and I will come back to you at the end. Okay, so I put on mascara after I set my face, so like everything's so thin. So I like to use Urban Decay D6 setting spray because I got oily skin, but I'm really enjoying Radiant More Natural like finish foundations. Everything that you aren't curious about, I've used. Will be in the description box down below. It's 2.20 p.m. And everything looks pretty good. I try to use everything relatively affordable, but no, I did a good mixture of both. But <laughs> um, this is what she looks like. Uh, she is doing really well with the blush and the highlighter. Shade matching isn't that bad. Um, there's nothing else I can really say. And other than, let me put on a mascara real quick in my lip gloss. So guess what? I found the box of this if this is the best um if you want if you're curious what it says to do for directions it says prep your skin with a pretty fresh primer i do not have that i'm really touch of buying that um it used a pretty fresh blending sponge or brush to apply and blend it to the skin so yeah uh, i didn't even know they had a primer but it looks like they do but this is the final look for today so like as i said um 2 20 p.m is when i officially set in my face with my setting spray so i will be back in eight hours so far she looks pretty good um excuse my passion twist you know she looks pretty good so far she lasts pretty long honestly i might wear her for my birthday photos or like my graduation birthday little get together i'm doing because she looks good she has like the perfect coverage that I'm looking for right now like medium coverage not too much 
looks like skin it's pretty pretty good i'm enjoying it i'm noticing a little bit of dark lines over here but then again i have hyperpigmentation so to fix that honestly you have to use color corrector um she looks really really good um she blended out really easily <laughs> like i don't even have to think about it when i'm blending her out which is like a pretty good thing for people who don't really care um i look relatively good my skin's been acting crazy but like this is pretty good for like an everyday foundation i could see this be like everyday foundation for all ages because i noticed when i worked at ulta that i like my preference whenever i do a someone matching someone with older skin they like no matter what type of skin type they got like these type of radiant skin like foundations like this one is better so like it's color pop this is pretty fresh foundation and the Too Faced Born This Way foundation or like the It Cosmetics moisturizers, like tinted moisturizers. Those usually tend to look good to me and usually to my clients um, on older skin, like 50s, 60s. So if you're in that age area for some reason and looking at me, what's up? Um, <laughs> I think this will be really good for you. I'm only 22, I'm turning 23 in like five days. So <laughs> we will see. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in like eight hours. I'm gonna take some pictures. Hi, it's only been like 15 minutes, but I was taking pictures for like reasons. Um, and I was smiling because I smile a lot, and my smile lines are showing already. So I just want to let you guys know that it, it looks like it's kind of creasing over here. Um, probably do some more powder. Couldn't tell you that never really happens to me. So that's just a little thing I want to tell you guys if it does it like with the smile lines i know some people don't mind it some people do mind it so i'm just laying on that okay so i'll be back in a few hours so <laughs> it is now 10 26 p.m it has been eight hours um this is a bomb foundation i look very oily right now because i do but let me just blot real quick for you oh that's so important so like i <laughs> i blot with the mented blot charcoal paper that I accidentally bought um, back in May. <laughs> um, they do a pretty good job for plotting. I just have to use like more than one, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay. But like still, look, I look pretty good. Um, it's been eight hours. Okay, so like I usually do two day reviews on foundation, but I'm going to do this one because that's all that's needed because guess what? I had no intention of going outside today and we did. <laughs> um, it's my birthday month and I was like, let me get my birthday gift from Ulta real quick. And then I was like, I also want my ice matcha latte from Dunkin' Donuts. And then my mom's like, let's go here and there. We went all the place. And then I forgot I have uh, an appointment. So I was like, I didn't want to go outside. So she still doing pretty good with me wearing a mask. Um, the thing, I don't know what you guys do when you get home from outside, but we sanitize everything. And then we take a shower. <laughs> so whenever I know I'm going outside, I don't relatively put my makeup. Cause I want to wash my face too but um yeah <laughs> it um held up because that was like a four hour mark in when I came back home and it held up in my hot steamy eight to ten minute shower <laughs> that I did and only after that I had to blot and that's that says something for me when it comes to more hydrating luminous foundations so that's really good if you have oily skin um the shade matching is not bad i feel like i look more red now that's because i'm on the brightest setting of my ring light because there's different setting there's this one and there's this one and we're back to that one so yeah it's just those three um <laughs> i could make it darker but i did not feel like it because i'm facetiming my friend and then i gotta do my video and then yeah so um I highly recommend this foundation. It's $16. I don't want to think she should be $16 though because it's ColourPop. I generally think she should be like around at most $12 or $14. Like it's a little bit of a difference, but it still makes a difference to me regarding the brand, but everything's getting higher now because of the pandemic. So um <laughs> so I highly recommend this. Um so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Um, I don't know what my next video is going to be. If you want me to review something for you, please let me know. Um, <laughs> and I hope you guys are staying safe out there. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. So 
so I will see you. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, also there's no flashback. <laughs> Please forgot to say that, there's no flashback. So yeah, that's good. So yeah, I hope you guys have a, <laughs> I hope you guys have a nice and lovely day. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are doing well and safe. Um, yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. So I will see you guys around.